feel like I get corona off a party. Um, I got corona the correct way. Motherfuckers just get corona from opening the door now. If I can get it from the door, party, come on, man. I'm trying to have fun. I'm trying to have fun. All right, we back with another episode of Explicit Content. Today I'm here with my boy Tajni. It's crazy. How you feeling? Sure. Having me. This is the man and mastermind behind uh, 1000, 1000 clothes, and 1000 brand. Yes, sir. It's a lifestyle brand, in my opinion. Uh, it's one of the hoodies I got on right now. Yes, you want to talk about a little bit what your brand is or what it means? Uh, for me, really, what my brand represents is just being, you know what I'm saying, original. That's like kind of what a 1000 come into play. Because people come in association with like 100%, so like 1000%, you know what I'm saying? So that's really what I focus on, is just keeping it organic, you know what I'm saying, original. How long you been making clothes or having your brand? Uh, thousand like a year like a year or two old really so I mean I'm, I feel like I'm just fresh in the game for real right, so I was gonna say before a thousand what was you doing nothing really uh, Hustle 219 I had a brand called Hustle 219 I made like two shirts and then just that was it for that but uh, like before that really it was just like I was putting fits together but just wearing them myself type shit but so then it's just yeah, being around fashion but not, yeah I feel that so what inspired you to get on your feet in and make your own brand. Really, it just got to the point where people, it got to so many requests for other people that wanted to, you know what I'm saying, be able to wear what I was wearing. So it was just like, I just jumped out and tried it really and it, it turned out well, so I just kept on with it. What um what are some of the like designs that you look, looked up to when you look at your start? Uh, As far as like, like got inspiration from like motivation to tell you yeah, like. Like, like start off, that's what I'm saying. Like, really Joe. Joe Fresh, yeah, for real. Just because of, like, really what I took from him was just, like, the whole pop-up situation that he got going on. That's just hard to me because he's just, like, some more personal touch touch. With him with clothes, I see it like he a rapper of clothes, like, because he dropped clothes and then just do pop-ups all over the world. So, like, instantly when I started seeing that, that's just something that made me want to. That's really another reason why I started to sell clothes, really, just because of, like, the whole pop-up situation that he started I feel like he started that trend, so that's definitely somebody that I uh, gain inspiration from. So you're two years in the uh, fast industry or game right now. Where you see your clothing brand in five years? Uh, really, probably like more minimal, probably like just because like the stuff that I'm doing now is more like attention grabbing. But I want to get to the point where I could sell stuff that's just you know what I'm saying, just light stuff. That don't gotta be too flashy. To you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that don't gotta be too flashy and yeah, I wanna do the pop ups and all that. So I really just see like the brand being bigger, but not much gonna change. Like I feel like it's just gonna as long as I'm staying on my toes, everything gonna be all right. Is that why you do like more like I know you do commissions and stuff like that, like one on one pieces. Where are you yeah. looking to take that? Uh eventually I feel like it's gonna because when it comes to like one on ones, I'm the only one that can do them. Like I right, can't right. have somebody making them for me and saying one on one, so with that, I feel like the bigger that I get, either the higher the price on that is going to get or the less, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm going to be able to take care of. But that's definitely something that I do want to hold on to. Like, I don't ever want to stop, leave that option, like, unavailable for, like, a one-on-one. The price is probably going to be a little higher. I feel, I saw that uh, you did the collab with Bill. Yeah. Is that something you want to do more, like, with collabs or how you think about collabs in it? In I ain't going to lie. Right now? Now, like right now, no. Like Bill, really one of the only people that I collab with. But why is that? Cause I feel yeah. like I don't. I just like for stuff to be like organic. organic. Yeah. I like so. so, like a lot of people just be doing the collabs for the money part. But I feel like that's where I would go wrong at. Cause I ain't really in it for the money. Like this is just something that I like. This really what I like to do. Yeah. Like for sure. So I mean, if it if it came to that point where. I had established some with somebody else, you know what I'm saying, that we on the same wavelength, then maybe we could work on some, but if if it ain't organic, then no, probably not. So I know uh, besides the brand stuff, you were in school too. Yeah. What's your major? Uh, graphic design. Well, actually, I, so where'd you go to high school? Maryville. All right. So graduated from Maryville. What year you graduated? 2018. 2018, all right. So you, you 20? Yeah. All right, okay. Yeah. So then you, you, are you now? Yeah, IUN. Okay. And then yeah. you, what's your major you say, my friend? Graphic design. All right, so you basically just play graphic design just to, you know what I'm saying, improve your skills on it. Yeah. Make it close. Pretty much. So I know you do my logos and shit too. A lot of people might not know that, but he do all my logos. Yeah. Uh, you feel me? All the graphics and stuff. So 
What I right, so what is your original interest for, you feel me for arts and stuff like this spark as a kid from Gary? Uh like what was the like like what started it where yeah. I don't even know for real. Like I just always been drawing and like artistic and creative, I guess you could say, like I just always found that interesting. So that's always something I've been into. But like as far as me like doing the graphics, probably like when I hit high school and the iPad came out with the pencil. Right. And I, I started testing that out. But then that's really when I start really like getting into graphics and like doing research on it. You know what I'm saying? Right, so all right, so uh, so I know you told me you did a a little work with graphic design for the city. Right, you feel me? Yeah. What um what are your visions for Gary? Like, you feel me? As a as a young creative, how do you look to you feel me? Help out the city or? I just want to improve it like on levels as far as the the population. Like, I just want it to be um more unified because I feel like right now. It's at a point where people feel like they got to pick a side on, like, this new age coming in or do they want to stick with the traditional way that they've been doing things. So what I, I, I just want to improve it on that aspect and be able to improve the, of course, like, the visual of the city, but really, like, behind the scenes and, and get some people in office that can take care of business that's going to actually make bigger steps towards bringing Gary back. You know what I'm saying? All right, so you say, like, change the people in office. Would you run for office? Me personally, probably not. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, but you just, just be, you just be. Um, go ahead, go ahead. I don't know. Just because like politics, that stuff just gets so overwhelming. I feel like. Nah, for sure. So like, if you doing something like that, you gotta really be ten toes in it. And I would, I would hate to jump into that. You be focused on the club. Yeah, and I can't, I can't even handle it. So, but like, I, I could be somebody behind the scenes though, for sure. Like just giving my input, cause I feel like everybody can use another set of like um, advice. So I feel like that would be cool. What are some of the uh, motivational artists you listen to? I know you're a big Nipsey fan. Yeah, probably as far as motivation, definitely Nip and Meek. And then uh, Freddie Gibbs, just motivational. Like, he don't make motivational music, but seeing where he came from, Gary, and then taking it all the way to where he's taking it to. Definitely. I know you uh, do a lot of album artwork. You got any upcoming artists you're a fan of? Uh, Fo. Uh, my dog Rello, CC Rello, and uh, it's so many from Gary, bro. I be here all day. Riso, so you support all of yeah, the shit. bro. Like, yeah, you, you doing all the artwork and shit too, right? Not all of it, but a lot, like, uh, a good portion of it. But a lot of people that's making music, like, coming out of Gary, don't even know that I do the artwork because I've been right. on the clothes heavy right now. So, so yeah, so how was that like? You just graduated two years ago. How was that like being in high school? So you got your start in front of obviously in Maryville, right? Yeah. The clothes. Yeah. How was that like, you know, was you known for clothes or? Nah, I really wasn't. I In high school, like, it was weird because I wasn't like the most popular person, but everybody knew me though. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I think more so I was known for like art. Like I was an artist. That was I was in art classes, like all that. So I feel like that's what people probably knew me for the most. But yeah, I I really didn't even start with the graphics for real till like I got out of high school, and then I used to, of Damn. course, like being fresh in high school. Bro, niggas know you just so. following your brand. Yeah, so that's like just being fresh, really. So a lot of same people that support you then still support you now. Yeah, for sure. So. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Where um would you would you consider yourself more so going towards cutting song, or you know like for the to further your brand yeah cut and sew probably just because like when you when you at that level I feel like you got all the control like and that's another thing what I've been fo- trying to focus on is like being more consistent with each piece like because what I'm doing now I'm not cutting so on so I gotta out- of course I gotta outsource right, right. so I'm just trying to make that consistent to where it's the same like even though it's a different t-shirt design it's the same shirt just a different color like so I feel like when you get to the cut and song level, you can control all that and just make sure it's going to be the same thing every time. So at the low level that you are, or not low level, but even at the level that you are right. now, how many pieces are you putting out for the drops? Because I know you got a drop coming up, right? Yeah, it's so, going to be like eight in there. So eight, you got eight different pieces in there. Like, what's the quantity on them? Like, you got like 
50 sweat. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. how, how do you think about That's you know actually like, what I'm working on right now. So, what, right, so what's in your thoughts when you're picking sizes? Like, how do you know what size is uh, small to pick? You it really just, just come, miles? like, like natural. Just, like, I right, so say I put something on the website, and I noticed the first one that sold out, and I'm going to notice the last one that sold out. So it's like, them two, I could put first and last on the list. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So say I'm trying to order 200 shirts. And I got to break down into quantity. So that's when I would bring that in from last time. Like, I right, I know the small sold out first, so I should probably do 40, 50, 60 smalls. And then, like, you know what I'm saying, upping them numbers, lowering the numbers of the ones. That, so it's just, like, just really paying attention and stuff like that. And that helped me make decisions down the line, you know what I'm saying, when it's time to decide, like, for example, the sizes. And even if it's, like, colors, like, what color is he? Cause I know you remember when I dropped these, it was yeah. like like nine different colors. Right, right. And I know you so, have, you know, what I'm saying, a thousand. Yeah, so. of course. So like, you know, what I'm saying that that's just something that factor into it is just studying, really like studying the analytics, cause that's what I do a lot, like really looking into how many people on my page or like for sure. So what's like the uh, you say analytics? What's like the furthest you ever shipped to? Uh, Japan. You know people out there, or no? Yeah, like from the military. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So you knew who it was. So. Yeah, yeah. All right, for that's real. Um, what's for my next question? But uh, so when you when you further your brand and you know you doing graphics and stuff, how do you find time to manage? Uh, I really just get in where I fit in. Right. Really, that's just something you learning right now. Yeah, just working on that too, like time management, make a better. How long did it take you to work on a collection? Like from the first idea to like final production and all that, yeah. probably like a month for real. Like just designing and then getting everything in order and made because really probably longer than that just because some of the stuff I got to make myself. So that factor into it. But I say on average like maybe a month, two months at the most. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Then never, I spend, never spend longer than two months. Nah, nah. I feel not. How many collections you dropped so far? One. One. Yeah. Right, so I mean, just one. Like, yeah. I'm fresh in the game. You're year for real on the collection. You don't yeah. know that. You just have yeah. that. That's real. I'm fresh in it. All right, man. Well, shit, we like, we like, you know, 15 minutes in. I'm going to get you these questions and we get out of here. All right, so, you you know what the question? You seen the questions on the, on the show? Was it the last time? Yeah, that, that, you feel me? Light skin, dark skin. Yeah, yeah, All right, yeah. so we start off the top. I ain't, I ain't gonna go to that. Uh, Dave, you said G Herbo. Her, just cause, bro, just cause Herb, like, I've been listening to Herb since I was a shorty, for real. Like, yeah. When he well, was first, of, yeah. A lot of us grew up we on can, her. We came up on Herb, for real, so that's probably, probably Herb, but I just started listening to Dave recently, like, three years ago. Yeah, nah, Dave, he's saying, yeah, he just got the same mistake, bro. Yeah. All right, so we rocking with boxes, Floyd or Mike? Mike Tyson. If we talking wins, of course it's going to be Floyd, but I'm down to rocking with Mike if I got to pick one of them to, like, like, I got to call one of them niggas. Who you calling? <laughs> I'm, I'm calling, I'm calling. I'm, I'm calling, calling Floyd, Mike, bro. I'm calling Mike off Floyd. back. We going to just flex on niggas. Mike going to come through and beat niggas for real. <laughs> Floyd going to be trying to box. You're just gonna flex on these. Alright, so TV, how you coming? Power Empire? Power, for sure. I've never watched Empire in my life. Yeah, I don't think a, a lot of young niggas never watched Empire. I'm straight on it. It's the 50 Cent connection, so. Oh, Alright, uh, sports teams, how you coming? Talk to Cubs. I don't even watch baseball, but I always fuck with the Cubs more because I like their coats. Like, I, I wear Cubs jackets and all that shit, so. That's real. Alright. Glock or FNN? FN. Only yeah. Cubs, the Glock ain't got that. That's safe. That's, only cause, yeah, yeah, I, for sure. I be, real. I got nieces and nephews, bro. Like, that's real, real nigga thinking right there. Yeah. Okay, okay. Baby, a little baby, the baby, a little, little baby. baby. For sure, for sure. Ain't, ain't no talking about that. Yeah, for sure. All you right, take right. shit over. You probably don't watch it, but UFC or WWE? UFC. Yeah. Nah, I ain't yeah. even front. I ain't even front. Yeah, <laughs> That's the thing. I like, like, front. Say, like, WWE probably whack now, but growing up, I had all the games. I, yeah, WWE, I ain't even like, for the front. At first, I was gonna act like it, but nah, bro. UFC, I was gonna say UFC for real because I really do watch it. But as far as really being into something, bro, I was in the WWE. WWE, WWE. I knew like, all them niggas' names, like all that, bro. I was really into that. Nah, yeah, I'm already knowing. All right, uh, last couple. Shit, I'm gonna go. I wanna just. Uh, all right. 
Light skin, dark skin. I don't even got a preference, bro. For real, shit. You she me. fine. She fine as hell. She fine. Real shit. Adidas and Nike, then. Adidas. Probably Adidas. I ain't gonna lie. I always think of it. Yeah. Last one though. Michael Jackson the Prince. Mike Jack, for sure. So yeah, I'm already know I ain't even gonna have you feel like yeah. too much talking. Some days you don't sure. have to talk correctly, but <laughs> if you yeah. know, you know. If you know, really? you know. That's what you hear. And that's it. That's my boy. <laughs> Sure. Okay, what's, what's your real name, bro? Diamani. Diamani. Right, yeah, then right. Taji, the, mid, the right. middle so, yeah, name. Go ahead and explain that. Taji, yeah. that's his brand. I'm putting me? the whole government on it, bro. Diamani, my first. Taji, my middle name. Yeah. Kondik, my last name. It's niggas that call me Diamani. It's niggas that call me Taji. It's niggas that call me Kondik. So, I'm but you feel me? Drop your social too, so. Yeah, one, Taji, T A G H I, on Instagram. And 1000 F E U, my brand page. Right, sure. so. It's another episode of Explicit Content. Appreciate it, bro. All right, my boy.